hey hey welcome back to my channel it is me b from mama is busy and today's episode we are talking about we might be busy but never too busy for god and how important it is for us to keep god first all right let's get into it as you can see i am in my venue and i am cleaning as always but I had a lot going on um, in the last couple of days. Excuse me. Some of you already know my eyes always water. But I had a lot going on the last couple of days. And um, some of the things, you know, prepping for this party that we've had back to back that had me decorating caused me to do a lot of things early. And I noticed while I was prepping for the party that my thoughts were prep for the party early, then come home and do like my Bible study and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. The enemy will try to get you, um, the enemy will try to get you to cut God, oh, excuse me. The enemy will try to get you to cut God out of your morning routine. Let me say, say this. The Bible tells us to seek God early in the morning. Now, that doesn't mean that don't seek him in um, the middle of the day, because then there's scripture that says to pray always. So I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is early in the morning, before you do anything, you prioritize God first. So you might say your prayers, you might read your Bible. And when I say, say your prayers, I'm not saying pray for three or four hours. I'm not saying that because it does not take all of that. But I'm saying that you might pray for a couple of minutes. You might sit and allow God to speak to your heart. Okay, I need to find something to hold this up because, um, yeah, let me just find a clip or something to hold this on. Hold on. Yes, that is much better. Okay, so what I was saying is that um, to seek God first. And that means you are going to have to create some sort of routine where you get up in the morning and you begin your day with the Lord. So my routine is getting up, having coffee, and I've shared this time and time again, but this time I'm saying you have to be purposeful. <laughs> you have to purpose to seek God because the kids will come at you. Um, your job would be on your mind, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Your job would be on your mind. Your husband will be on your mind. But when you get up in the morning, our first thought should be seeking the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. You'll see the other things that will be added to you. And I'm not talking about material things because that'll come. But you seeking God will give you patience with other people. Seeking God first will teach you how to love the unlovable because you have patience and you have love with people because just spending the first couple of minutes, first 10 minutes with God in the morning will give you what you need to make your life better, okay? So especially, say for instance, you're praying for patience. Now, you're praying for patience and the next thing you know, you get to work and because you spent time praying um, in your tongues, praying quality time with the Lord and you sought him and you know, you might say, well, this coworker has really been getting on my mind and God, I need your guidance and God, I need your strength to help me to be patient toward this person and God would give you what you need. Uh, of course, the situation will arise where you can see that person that day might be extra annoying, but God will show you, you, and he will show you that thing that you prayed for. Look, I'm helping you with it. And you'll start to take notice like, oh my gosh, 
because you sought God and he gave you everything that you need. He gave you what you needed in that moment. So when the moment later on that day occurs, um, did I say that right? (laughs) You would be able to handle uh, the situation better. So seeking God strengthens us believers, children of God. It strengthens us. It um, gives us wisdom because some things that we may not understand, the Holy Spirit would, we would hear and know the leading of the Holy Spirit. And because the Bible says he'll bring back uh, all, everything to our memory. So we may have studied a situation or we may have read something in the course of the day or seeking God early in the morning. The next thing you know, uh, um, something happens and you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. Amen. I read about that, you know, or wow, I I see that situation different. So that's it. Not that much information, but a, a powerful bit of information Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all other things shall be added. So not only seek him um, early in the morning, but seek him during the course of the day. Pray, talk to your Lord and Savior, talk to your father and you will see it makes a better life. We can't just be Christians. We can't be just saying we're children of God, but we have no relationship with him. So I just want to encourage you today, seek the Lord. Amen. Be blessed. Have a great day and like and subscribe. I'm so glad that you were here with me today. Be blessed.